Creating new and interesting ways to keep your players engaged in the world you have created is a mark of great presenter, storyteller, or game master. With D20 Pro, we can leverage a few features to benefit your presentation of your game world. In this video, we will be going over the uses and types of handouts we can provide players and how to use tiles in interesting ways to enhance the overall gaming experience. Handouts provide an additional immersion factor in your games. Your players might be searching a hidden safe, revealing an old treasure map, or perhaps they intercept a note outlining the villain's next move, or you simply want to share an image that captures the atmosphere of the environment. With D20 Pro, you can do all of that by sending your players images, documents, and web links, and you can even choose to send the handout to a certain individual or a group of individuals. One of the advantages of using the Gen Con 2014 tiles with D20 Pro, we can create a secret passageway into a secret room without the players metagaming, knowing the locations of the secret doors. On this map, we have an L junction visible, and the T junction and the secret room are hidden or invisible to our players. To show how this gameplay would go, the rogue successfully searches the wall and finds that there's a secret passageway. You can reveal or show the secret marker on the map and give a short description, such as you find one of the bricks on the northern wall, extruding from the wall abnormally, and you think you can press it in. Once they open the passageway using the secret entrance, we can reveal the previously hidden T-junction, the secret extending hallway, and secret room to our players. Then we'll reveal the fog of war covering the area, and broadcast the updated map to our players. We can also change the visibility of the secret marker. Another great advantage of using D20 Pro Manage Tiles feature is we can use each tile as its own layer. In this map, we have a background layer, a layer with the roof of the house, and another layer being our bridge. In gameplay, one of our players can go up to the house and open the door, and as the GM, we can make the roof layer invisible, allowing the players to see inside of the house. After they're done exploring the house and want to leave, we can make the house roof visible again. Another great way to use layers is for illusions. This map, we can use the bridge as an illusion. So when the PCs come up to the bridge and try to interact with it, we can have them make the appropriate saving throw or challenge check to see if they know it's an illusion. Then if the PC doesn't know that it's an illusion and moves to where the bridge is broken, they could fall into the ravine, and you can mark the character's new elevation and roll for damage. And of course, insert your evil GM laugh. Have land or sea transportation in your game? There's a sticky tile for that. This allows you to make any creature on the tile, move with the tile, or rotate with the tile. We simply click on the sticky tile button, and all the creatures with the tile will move with it. This has been a D20 Pro video tutorial. For more information, visit us online at d20pro.com.